Alright guys, this is a bit of a random one. I'm going to use this here speaker as a sort of a sub kick uh, to use it as a microphone where you wire it to an XLR and put it to an input and um, you know it's still got a, it's a transducer so it will still pick up sound. Normally the sub kick uses larger speakers but I'm going to try this here little 8 ohm speaker which is out of a plasma TV. Uh, I've got some bits of cable here as you can see as the ground hot and cold cables. I've also got an XLR socket here which is going to be mounted on it so I can plug a lead in and then I'm going to house it within this here can. So I'm going to find a way to mount it in there. It isn't small enough to fall inside so it should easily be mountable and not move anywhere and then we can put some packing and stuff in there. So let's have a see anyway what we can do. Alright so uh, the speaker's sort of installed there just roughly. As you can see it's not even moving and I've not even made any holes or anything for it I've just put it in. Yeah as you can see it's not got any holes or I've just literally placed it in and uh, it's seeming good. I think I'm going to stick the XLR in this end, there, so that'll be that socket that's down there, and then I'll put some um, padding inside, some sort of foam or something, to st stop it resonating and um, picking up crap from behind. This is going to be an interesting build when it's done. Alright, well some progress has been made, as you can see there's an XLR now fitted. To the bottom of this air can. It's not going anywhere. There's the wiring soldered on here and down there. As you probably can't see because it's a long distance, that's a bit better. So, yeah, that's so far so good. And I'm going to hook the speaker up. To these wires and give it a little test. Alright, now the speaker's hooked up. As you can see, the ground's there. The hot and cold is on, positive and negative there. The wire's sort of wrapped up. I'll twist this a bit more, it'll get wrapped back. But yeah, Let me twist this there. There we go. So now I've just got to find something to stick inside that can. Pack uh, some sort of dampening material in, some sponge or something, which I'm going to go look for now. Actually, change of plan, before I go and pack this in, I'm going to test it. So let's whack this air XLR in. Satisfying click. Let's move this down. Alright, and now we're on this channel here. So that's on PFL. Whoa, that's quite sensitive actually. Let's turn down to nothing and it's still picking up quite a lot. Hello, damn. Well, let's have a listen to that. Alright, so that works. Let's find some uh, material for inside the can now. Alright, I've got some of this here, which I'm going to use to stuff the can. So let's go with this in here first. This might be easier to pause the camera. Alright, so there's the first bit of stuff in there. You can't even see the bottom of the can anymore. Now I'm going to put this piece in and then put the speaker in. That's the can completely packed out. Speaker fitting time. Alright, there's the speaker fitted in the can. There's very little movement to it. There's the XLR installed. I think we're good to go. What I'm probably going to do 
is uh, wrap a bit of gaffer tape around this and just to stiffen it up a little bit. Alright, I think it's about finished. I have gaffer taped around the edges. Gaffer tape just so happens to be five pieces, the perfect height of Pringle cans. Edge to edge. There's our XLR connector. Again, that's not going anywhere. Seems very stiff. It's not even glued. I was going to glue it, don't even think I've got it. And in the top, the lid even goes on perfectly. So you can put it away. I'm happy with that. I am. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick capture test, I think. Okay, this is just a little tad bit I'm going to put on the end of the video. This is some stuff that I've pulled out of a recording project that I've been doing in uni at the moment. I took this in when we was recording, and then this is what they sounded like, basically. So I'll overlay some pictures of it set up, and I'll play the audio in the background for it. I believe that the Pringle sound tends to be like a old-school radio. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching.